everyone and welcome to a very rainy Sunday afternoon in our home today. This is actually probably the fifth or sixth time I've tried this intro so we're just gonna try to jump right into today's video which is hopefully gonna be a very chill relaxed video. We're gonna upgrade our couch, our IKEA couch. It just has the plain old legs that it came with which is Completely fine. It served a great purpose for us for the past six years. Anyways, today is going to be a little bit of an IKEA hack, an IKEA upgrade, and it's going to be with these lovely, lovely legs that I got on Amazon. I'll show you right now the inspiration pictures, uh, but this is just like a nice way to upgrade your couch without having to buy a new one. Upgrade it to make it look a little bit more elevated, shall we say. Um, and because we really like the traditional style, we really like English cottage style, I think this would be the perfect way to do it. So, without further ado, let's get into today's video. does make it look a bit more dated in the wrong way. So I could either use command strips. So the con to the command strips is it might not hold it super tightly, which is what we want because it's just a sticky adhesive. Um, but then it would be Velcro. But then the pro is that I would not be stapling the skirt. But the other thing is I don't really ever want the skirt to be showing ever again. Well, you know, that's another con is, <laughs> is that the skirt actually comes off and you can wash it. Let's try the command strips. Let's try those first and then we'll default to maybe stapling if that doesn't work. So let's try this. I have like a massive pack from Costco. Just command strips. Let's see if it adheres to the fabric, which I'm not feeling very optimistic, but we'll see. I could be shocked. And honestly, that would be amazing. <laughs> so let's try. Okay, so I want it to go here. It, it doesn't honestly have to be super You know what? I think that's gonna work great. So I'll show you where I'm putting it. If you have this couch, and then you can you can do the heck yourself. Okay, I will say you definitely want to be careful that you're not pulling it too tightly, because then it'll look kind of lumpy. But wow, that was super easy. All right, so I'll show you where I put it. Okay, so I'm using my phone here, but if you have this couch, you'll see uh, how cheaply this is made first and foremost. Um, <laughs> and then you'll see this piece of wood here. I am putting the command strip right here on this face, and then I'm folding it over into here. And then once you fold over, then it just creates a really nice slick look. Once I got to the end of the couch, this is when I ran into an issue that I actually wasn't anticipating, oddly enough, is the skirt had a bunch of fabric that needed to go somewhere if I wanted that seamless look. So right now I'm just problem solving and trying to figure out how to tuck it or get rid of it. And I ended up cutting. Plan on using this okay beyond this little hack so i'm just going to 
do this. I think that works. Now, what to do with all of this? Let's bring you over. Okay, you know what? I think this part has to go. After cutting off the excess on the corner, I ended up sewing the two seams shut. I am definitely going to see if I can get away with not doing this on every side, maybe just the front. It's obviously not gonna look perfect, but I think I think we're getting somewhere here. All right, let's go to the other side. But I'm just gonna show once again what I did. Because this couch has a skirt, I need to remove this excess fabric so that when I cinch it underneath, it doesn't have this kind of like bulkiness. So once I remove this, I sew and I join these so that it, it just comes together and it looks a bit more neat. I've slit the middle here and I'm gonna screw this on. 